What's up people, I hope you're all doing well and in this week's video I'm going to go over how you can start to make some money on Fiverr using a free online editing software called Canva without any experience or skills needed at all. Now the great thing about this method is that literally anyone can do this and almost start immediately and when I say immediately I mean realistically you could have your Fiverr services up and live on Fiverr within two to three hours after watching this video. So let me give you guys a quick rundown on what Canva actually is in case you haven't actually come across it or heard of it before and how we can actually use this website to start offering a wide array of services on Fiverr. So as I said before, Canva is a free online editing website that gives us access to a bunch of different editing tools, templates and elements that we can use to create basically whatever we want and whatever we feel like creating. So if you feel like creating a new logo for your business or perhaps you're looking for a new poster design Design to go in your room, Canva will literally have everything you need and all the editing tools that are required to make these things. And not only will it be easy to create these things, but it should also be a very fun and exciting process, especially for those of you who are new to design. And it's actually crazy to think of it like this, but I've been using software such as Photoshop and Illustrator for around five plus years now, and I can honestly say that I prefer to use Canva for certain tasks and aspects of design. And this is because Canva makes everything so easy for all kinds of design projects, and it's incredibly user friendly for literally any skill level. Now let's get onto the main point of this video, which is how are you going to use Canva to start making money online and selling your services on Fiverr? And there really are endless possibilities and opportunities as to what you can sell on Fiverr. So to make this easier for me to show you guys exactly what I mean by this and how there are so many options, I'm gonna go ahead and open up Canva here on my laptop and then give you guys a quick rundown on all the templates that they have to offer, which is actually a great starting point for anyone looking to get started. So here I've just opened up Canva and logged into the Canva dashboard. And as you can see here, we're already greeted with a few different template options, which we can actually get started with. But if we continue to the right using this arrow over here, we can actually see the crazy amount of templates that Canva actually offer to us and of course the more templates and services that they offer to us the more options we have to sell on Fiverr. So to give you guys an example of how easy and simple this method really is I'm going to go ahead and use this invitation card service as an example and then actually go into Fiverr search this up and see what we can find and then from there once we've taken a look around Fiverr to make sure that this service is actually possible I'm then going to hop back into Canva and try and make one of these invitation card services myself just to show you guys how simple and easy this method can be and this way you guys can see the full design process through Canva so from obviously the start of the design all the way to the finish and how we actually then go ahead and export the design have it ready for the buyers of Fiverr I will also give you guys a full overview and tutorial on Canva as I know there probably are some of you guys who are watching who perhaps have never heard of Canva or even just want to know what other techniques and tools there are available in Canva so do make sure to stick around to the end of the video to watch that part so right here I've just searched up invitation cards on Fiverr and as we take a look here we can see the amount of services actually available to this search term and telling from this number there isn't actually too many which is good comparing it to other services on Fiverr. And the other great thing about this service is when we actually scroll down and take a look at the amount of reviews that each seller has there isn't actually any one seller who is dominating the whole market which is obviously good for us because this means we can come into this service niche and have a very good chance of actually getting a fair amount of orders. But now I'm going to take a look around some of these gigs and these sellers portfolios. This way I can get a general idea of the style that they're using to create these invitation cards and then from there I'm going to actually hop back into Canva and try create one of these invitation cards myself and essentially teach myself in Canva to create these invitation cards. back inside a Canva what I'm going to do is go ahead and open up this invitation cards template this way we can get started and I can show you guys how simple and easy this method really is and why there's no reason you guys can't go out there and get started within a matter of hours so what I'm going to do here is run a quick time lapse of me creating and designing the invitation cards on Canva and I'm also going to start a stopwatch on my phone this way you guys can see how quickly I actually managed to get it done so hopefully you guys can follow along to the time lapse and actually get a general idea of how Canva works.
Just finished up creating the invitation card design and I mean for my first attempt I don't think it was that bad at all and of course the more practice and the more times you take on more projects and do more designs the results will obviously start to look a lot better. But anyway for this example I was able to create this design in just under 15 minutes which you can see there. So if we take this into account and we were to sell this service on Fiverr for a minimum of $5 this then works out at around $20 an hour and I mean for such a simple method that's not not bad at all. Now I'll give you guys a quick rundown on Canva and how you can actually go about navigating your way around. So starting off we're back on the dashboard which is essentially the central hub to Canva and this is where we can get quick access to our design files, quick access to the different uh, template options. If we scroll down there's also even more in-depth template options that we can use. So if we take a look around the top bar first here we have the home tab which is essentially the dashboard and the view that we are currently looking at. If we then slide along to the right we have the templates drop down box and this is essentially a menu style of all the different templates that Canva offer us. And moving along again to the features tab, this is where we can view a lot of the graphic content and the elements available to us based on the services that we're actually trying to provide. So as an example if I scroll down here to business and click on here, what this will then do is actually open up a page full of different icons and elements available to us which we can obviously then use for our service. Moving along again we're going to look at the learn tab and this is essentially where you can find all the short how to videos made directly from Canva so if you do ever get stuck you can definitely find some short videos that will help you out there. Then next up we have the search bar which is where we can go to type in what we know we're looking for so like a keyword so if I use the invitation cards again invitation then what it will do is actually bring up all the template options for me based on the keyword invitation and then in the top right corner over here we have the settings tab and the profile tab and this is essentially where you can go to find all your personal information and things like that if you did want to change anything about your account and then moving on to the side list here we have the tab which is all of your designs which is essentially just a large page that displays all of the designs that you've ever created and then moving down we have the shared with you so if you have to be working on a project with another designer this is where you can go to find all of the design files that they have shared with you and obviously you can work on them with them there and then scrolling down again we have the brand kit which is essentially where you can go to set your own brand colors and your own textiles and stuff like that so i'll quickly click on this for you guys so you can see that so yeah you have your brand logos your colors your font styles and stuff like that so this is great if you are working on a project designed for a business in mind. Then we have the content planner which is essentially a large calendar inside of Canva which you guys can fill out with the different tasks that you need to have done and the deadlines and stuff like that. Then moving on down again we have create a team which is essentially where you guys can open up a personal account or business account and actually invite all of your employees or members into that account. That way you guys can all share that platform together and have access to all of the designs but of course for the purpose of this video we won't actually need to use this tab at all because we are trying to provide a service through Fiverr which will typically be done all by ourselves but anyway moving on down again we have all of your folders which is essentially a central hub for all of your designs and all of the elements and textiles that you've actually liked so you know you can come back to them there and lastly we obviously have the trash tab and I mean this is pretty much an obvious one now let's move on to the designing area which is where you guys will end up spending most of your time and we can do this by clicking on any of the template options along here if we know what kind of service we're trying to provide or if we need a custom size we can start that by clicking on this tab up here and adjusting the width and height and then getting on with the design from there. So here I've just opened up the design file from the design that I created earlier on in the video and what I'm going to do now is give you guys a quick rundown on how to navigate around this whole design area. So what I'm going to do is show you guys along this left column here and first up we have the templates tab which is essentially where we can view different template options. So of course, for this example, I have the invitation card template, but what Canva does is actually give us some sort of like base templates that we can use to start off with. So this could be birthday invitation cards or of course wedding templates. And in my own honest opinion, I think this tab might just be the most useful and beneficial for you guys, especially if you are just starting out. But anyway, let's go ahead and move on again and here we have the uploads tab which is essentially where you guys can go to upload your own media, 
your own logos and stuff like that, your own PNGs if you want. And you can just drag and drop them right into the design area here and use them and go from there. And again, moving on down, we have the photos tab, which is essentially a area where Canva provides their own photos and stuff like that, almost like stock images. But for the purpose of this video and what we're trying to achieve here, I would actually advise for you guys to stay away from this tab as if you do end up using any of these photos, you may actually come across some commercial rights issues and copyright issues. But not to worry, we shouldn't actually need to use any of these photos anyway. And if we actually scroll along to the next tab, which is the elements tab, this is actually the most important part of Canva, which in my personal opinion, this is because this is where we can find all the elements, graphic design content, and all of the the icons that we're going to use for our own unique designs so as you can see here I can go ahead and literally search for anything so if I type in business again what it's going to do is give me a list of hundreds of different elements and icons that I can actually use and drag and drop into my designs so definitely take some time to play around with this tab and find the different elements and the graphic content that you like and if you do happen to come across a icon that you really do like what you can do is click on the three dots up here and click on this add to likes and as I showed you before in all of your folders tab you can then go back and actually find this icon in your liked folder but anyway moving on down we have the text tab and I mean this is a pretty obvious one so we can go ahead and add in a heading a subheading and the body text but the great thing that I want to get across here is how Canva actually offers these font combinations and these pre-made font styles so if you guys are ever in a situation where you can't find that perfect font you can definitely go ahead and search up here and Canva may just have that font style here ready to go which is almost a lifesaver next is the styles tab which is where we can go to create our own color palette so as an example let's say we're working with a business who have a select few colors that they want to use for all their logos their designs and all their content this is where we can go to create those few colors for them and make sure that we're always using those colors and that color palette now as we move on down to the audio tab and the videos tab this is basically the same situation from the photos tab where a lot of this content will actually be protected by copyright and commercial rights so be careful when it comes to creating your designs especially when you're selling them on Fiverr so perhaps only use these two tabs if you are creating your own sort of personal designs and your own personal content um, so yeah for the purpose of this video I would advise that you guys actually stay clear of these two sections but anyway moving on down again we have the background tab um, so you guys can feel free to use any of the content inside of this for your Fiverr service and what you guys will end up doing is using a lot of this content as the base layer to your design so as an example here I have my invitations card I could have easily put like some sort of gradient background as the base layer so you guys may find yourself using this tab a lot more than often. And lastly, for this left column, we have the folders tab, which again is basically the same as the folders tab as I showed you guys on the Canva dashboard. So this is the central hub for all of your own content and your designs and stuff like that. And here we can actually access all of the liked elements and content that I mentioned earlier. Okay, so I've just realized that that wasn't actually the last tab as I've scrolled down to the bottom and we actually have the more tab. And essentially this is a tab where you guys can integrate other apps and outside sources so as an example if I wanted to integrate a image from Pexels this is where I can integrate that app and then import that image now I will quickly run you guys through the top bar here so if we click on the file tab here this is essentially where you guys can go to save your design you can make a copy of your design and you can even view the history of your design you can even add in rulers you can add in guides you can add in margins so if you guys are working from a file a template this will definitely help you there then next along we have the resize tab and I mean this is a pretty obvious one but at the same time you guys may find yourself using it a bit more than you think as there may be situations where you deliver a file to the buyers on Fiverr and they come back to you with a revision where they want a different size template or stuff like that and this will be a quick easy way for you guys to make those changes then moving along again we have the file name and this is where you guys can go to rename the file design so for this example I'll say wedding invite uh, say number two 
and yeah so that's a way that you can navigate your file names and stuff like that and then the next tab is the share tab which is where you guys can go to share it with another user or a team member and stuff like that then next we have the downloads tab which is where you guys can go to export all of your designs out of canva and then have them delivered to the buyers within fiverr and you can also change the file type so the most common one is going to be either jpeg or png but if the buyer is asking for a source file what you guys can do is actually download the svg file and deliver it to them that way and the other great thing is let's say i select jpeg you can also bump up the quality and you can also adjust the size of the design file so you guys will end up using this a lot of the time and then gradually getting to the end here we have the print tab which is essentially where you guys can order your design files from canva so in this example i have my invitation card here so what i can do is actually pay canva to create these invitation cards for me and then ship them out to the buyer of fiverr or a business that i'm working for or perhaps even just have them shipped to myself but for the purpose of this video i don't think you guys will need to worry about this tab all too much as typically when we are offering a service on fiverr we are only ever delivering design files and never physical products and then lastly we have the three dots along the end here which is where we can go to find a lot more options and if you guys happen to be doing a presentation you can also click on the present button here and it also just gives you more options to share the design files and stuff like that. And the last thing I will mention in this tutorial before I wrap things up is the editing tools that are actually available to you once you click on an element or a piece of text. And when you do, you guys will notice that these editing tools will actually pop up along the top bar for you. So as an example, for this element, you can then go ahead and crop it down. You can flip it. And then if I select a text, what you can do is then change the font style. You can change the font size. You can change the color and you can also change the alignment and stuff like that and you can even animate your content so let's say you're working on a instagram story for a buy on fiverr you can click this tab and this is where you can start to get the elements and the pieces of text actually move within the design file so the last thing that i want to show you guys from these editing tools is the background remover so what i mean by this is let's say you guys have a product image or a photo of yourself where you want the background removed what we can do is actually use a effect in Canva to do this for us. So what I've done here is just dragged in a image of one of the photos that I took for one of the thumbnails of my videos. So what I can do here is go up to the effects tab and click on the back room, background remover, sorry, and then give that a minute to work. And boom, perfect. So there we go. I now have a image of myself with no background. So if a buyer wanted this, you can actually save this as a PNG and deliver this to them. But yeah, I thought this would be a handy effect and editing tool to make sure to show you guys. Right, so I'm going to wrap up the video here as I know it has been a long one. But I hope you guys were able to see how simple this method was and how easy Canva is to use. And now you have a basic understanding of Canva and all the different options that you have available on there to start selling on Fiverr. There really isn't any reason you can't start selling your services right away and start making money online. So if you guys enjoyed the video or you got any valuable information out of it at all, I'd really appreciate it if you can go ahead and drop this video a like as these videos really do take a lot of time and effort to make for you guys and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already as i plan to make a lot more videos on fiverr and other ways of making money online in the very near future but that's all for now i will see you guys in the next one and take care